Greetings. We're here at Eden Valley Campground in the Siskiyou National Forest in southwestern Oregon. And uh, this normally would be a free site with a good oh, 10 or so spaces, but not anymore. And uh, free campgrounds are usually expected to be fairly primitive. For example, all you get here is firing in a picnic table but like many of these places it's trashed every single site is trashed there's not a lot of maintenance going on it's kind of sad to see and uh, last night there was some people coming through at about 1 a.m that was a little weird there's no cell service there's no garbage service there's no water at all and right along a paved road here in the middle of logging country. So all you got to, to, to listen to is birds and very loud engines. And you can see there's almost uh, no maintenance at all. Nobody's coming out here to clean anything up. All this cardboard and people have left stuff strung in the trees. And there's booze bottles. Every firing in the whole campground here looks like this, including the one I chose. And there's chunks of boards over here and... Ugh, where people were probably balancing, balancing their trailer out and oh, there's you know tags from clothing and toilet paper on the picnic table over there you know you kind of expect some level of maintenance uh, out here along the Coquille River you know near this little spot called Eden Valley it's very pretty out here but unfortunately between trashed campsites and very few amenities, it's a bit of a rough go. And it's a very, very chilly morning here. You have very little sun that'll come in here because there's almost no gaps in the trees. And so spending the morning listening to logging trucks and logging equipment, traffic going by, firing full of garbage. That one over there smells like pee, like someone peed in the site. You get to pay soon. And there's a whole list. Sorry, I'm shaking. It's very chilly. There's a whole list here. Rogue River, Siskiyou, National Forest, and the different ranger districts. The proposed fee that they're going to be doing. And uh, going down here, we're at the very, very bottom of the list in the Powers Ranger District. There's Eden Valley Campground. Normally there's nothing. They're going to make this $8.00. Four dollars an extra vehicle, eight dollars a night. They want to charge for no garbage service, almost no maintenance, no cell service, no water. Not really a whole lot of peace and quiet. It's pretty, but once you get up anywhere where there's a view, it's nothing but clear cuts. And that's really frustrating that they want to make places like this cost because people like yours truly don't have really any money to be paying eight dollars you know night after night after night that's why this was the choice is because uh you know it was free and this time of year there wouldn't be anybody out here it'd be nice and at least in the campground peace and quiet but all i can hear is all these loud diesel engines running and jake braking as the trucks come down the hill and so you've got on the other side of the road there there's another little tiny toilet and two sites and then there's one through seven here you've got a his and hers gender specific vault toilet here that's it and you wonder what the what's the eight dollars going to go to when there's nothing happening i mean the toilets are gross and again no garbage service you have to clean up your campsite nobody's doing it everybody lets their dogs run loose Nobody cares, and of course, they know they can do that because no one's policing it. That $8 isn't going to someone coming out here and making sure that the dogs are on leash and that there's no trash in the campsites. That's frustrating because what they're doing is they're just driving more and more people in poverty who want to enjoy the outdoors out of the campgrounds to where they're out in the woods, you know, and sometimes that can lead to, you know, kids running off and getting in search and rescue more often it leads to people just trashing dispersed campsites out in the woods. And 
there's you think there's no maintenance going on in the established campgrounds there's nothing going on out there almost every bend in every road every logging road there's a fire ring a bunch of beer bottles and cans garbage and trash toilet paper everywhere it's really really gross Brr, it's cold shivering it's probably about 32 degrees but you can see here even right here number one oh what a lovely little spot in the trees with a whole bunch of disgusting garbage like what is all that what are these black things Brr, I'm shivering shivering plastic and it looks like toilet paper probably and there's a whole mattress here you know I mean this is complete and total lack of maintenance and I'm, I'm thinking what the you know what the heck are they going to charge eight dollars for when they're not even cleaning up rotting mattresses how long has that been there you know probably mushrooms growing up through the middle of it yeah i think i better go get the vehicle warmed up and get on the road here but i just wanted to stop and talk a moment about that it's this this fee increase that they want to do on everything butler bar that we showed you over on the elk river they want to start charging for that it's so incredibly remote it's unbelievable <laughs> i mean you're on the edge of the wilderness and you still have to pay it's just out of control you know and the number of places i've seen out in the middle of nowhere that literally you could end up with thousands of dollars in vehicle damage you know here's no sun how are you supposed to even do solar charging there's not even the tiniest break in the trees here it's chilly it's damp they want to charge you money to sit in a garbage campsite with a nasty toilet in noisy logging country you know that's that's not fair and, and their administration has the money the U.S. Forest Service has the money to maintain these places without charging us. They just choose to spend it in frivolous ways. And we all know this, but none of us, are, nobody's doing anything about it. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to, you know, basically vote with my dollars and not spend them here. And especially when uh, the dollars that help fund this channel are coming from my viewers, I'm not going to send their you know, very, very appreciated donations right to the Forest Service for them to pay their administrator to get six figures to sit in an office and tell people to do this, do that, while places like this have rotting mattresses and toilet paper strewn across the picnic tables and beer bottles and cans everywhere and broken glass and creepy people coming around at 1 a.m., you know. I'm sorry, U.S. Forest Service, but that is not okay, that is not fair, and you cannot do that. And uh, I, for one, am not going to be participating in your fees. And as long as dispersed camping is still legal on public lands, always ants is from now on never going to stay in a place like this that charges free campgrounds or dispersed camping. There's just no reason for them to be charging for places like this. And sorry about the rant, but it was just really frustrating to come here all the way out here in the middle of nowhere with no amenities and see, you're going to have to pay. You go, man, that's just, that just gives, that leaves a really bad taste in my mouth considering how much money we know they get billions of dollars a year. So, cranky morning, it's shivery, it's cold. I don't like that these beautiful places are going to cost money and make it so that I can't stay here anymore. And I do want to thank you so much for putting up with this morning rant here we gripe about proposed increases in fees here at Eden Valley Campground in the Siskiyou National Forest in southwestern Oregon.